True. Theoretically speaking, I should just be able to drag this in. Yes! <laughs> we gotta add a head. We'll go with a cube. I'm very basic right now. I don't know how to do a lot of things. <laughs> it's gonna hurt my eyes after a while. I think we need to make our own texture, not gonna lie. Square cat face. If you at least make them symmetrical, they don't even have to look good. <laughs> this is... This is screwed up, dude. Pull this bad boy in here. All right, perfect. I'm getting this, I'm getting this now. That's him. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. All right, I know how to use the program now. Things will go quicker. Uh, this program is PicoCAD, by the way. It's like, this is how people made 3D models in Windows 98. Today I've sacrificed the sanity of my Twitter. How many replies does this have? Yeah. This is, why, this is why I mute these after I'm done with them. So we need to do some low detail stuff, but maybe not this low detail. Yeah, like this one's possible. Like this is, this is a good candidate. So there's that. And then we'll go with an upside down pyramid. And we're not gonna go too intense with this one. I mean, it's this. It doesn't deserve too much effort. First we'll do the shirt. Shirt's pretty basic. Ooh, the shirt with arms. Still pretty basic. And we can just use the same arm for both both of them. I, I took 45 minutes on the first one. I need to speed things up. Legs? We'll do legs, but they will be texture. I learned this through the many years I've been making SpongeBob models, that you should put the circles, the Swiss cheese holes in ahead of time so that when you're working on the actual face, you don't get as caught up in the little and trying to work around what you've already done. Now, one problem I did not foresee is the fact that, all right, we're gonna redo this triangle. Where, what, what part of this is this? Now, they did get a, uh, they get, they got, we get, we get, we they did get rid of the speckles on his face. I do wish his shirt was the right color. That's kind of important for this image, though. This is a classic SpongeBob image. Whenever anyone says SpongeBob, this is the image I think of first. It's such a notorious image, and to not get the shirt color right is kind of a disservice. All right. Export GIF. Medium spin. You know what? Nah, this guy needs, this guy needs fast spin. Open this. Upload it. Crop it, ship it, and it's gone. Where was the reply? Where was it? Oh, okay, we're good. You know how many replies there are? Like if I lose one of these, I'm never finding it again. There, completed. I can like my own tweets once in a while. Will you tell me that doesn't deserve a like? You know what, some people, very few people will give me images through quote tweets and I have never responded to one or done one. So I will make you a squirtle for the minority that is quote tweet gang. For this one, I'm feeling like trying something weird. Cylinder, which I, well, that is weird. Just the fact that there can be cylinders in this program is strange, but extrude face. Oh, hey, let's do one more extrude and just work with this shape. That's the top. How do I not grab the top? So that's this one here. How do I grab it? Why did I add that? I don't, I don't need that. I don't know how to, how do I get rid of this? Rotate mesh. Oh, whoa. Now I'm a hundred times more confused. This is it. We're gonna deal with this. We're gonna make a good, we're gonna make up for it with a really good, really good texture for this. Pretty much the whole thing's gonna be blue. The size will be mostly black. There's a little brown around there. I highly doubt Pico will actually allow me to have brown in the program. It's not easy to uh, color things that color. When you were a flippin' program made in the Stone Age, apparently. The shell will do brown. And we gotta do some lines on the shell. They're not perfectly symmetrical, but I'm freehanding it. This is what we did back in the day. When we were working on the animation for the first Toy Story. To the texture page. Forgot to make this green so that I can add funny editing effects in post. This looks like the character from Jason's house for Squirtles. We're gonna have to do his, do his face in segments. What? What? Who made? Who decided this? Why is it sideways? We'll just give him a weird sideways mouth. Let's let's behave, program. Please, freaking just. Yeah, okay, I have to specifically click the top. I'm learning. I've. This is the first day I'm using this program. All right, everything else, blue. Just make it blue. Can't really mess that up much. Colors can be upside down. You just 
just visually can't conceive it. That's the thing. It's a little, little math problem for you there. That's a good one to think about if you're trying to fall asleep at night. Holy, this guy's got problems. <laughs> I'm not having a dementia moment. I thought I had a water bottle here and I can't find it. Back into the thick of it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, things like this, I think so you can understand why I can't be doing them. I would specify, hey guys, I'm making videos in PicoCAD specifically, but people never care. I can specify all I want and nobody ever pays attention to it. This is amazing, I'm doing this. In fact, many times I have specified, like, specifically send me, like, memes to draw. Like, when I do those wall things in the background every once in a while. I'll specifically say, please send, like, memes. And people will just, here's a selfie I took. Here's a picture of my Subaru Impreza. It's a losing battle, what am I supposed to do? I think two cubes would be a good idea. We'll do a cube, we'll do a cube. He's a wide cowboy. He's not always the healthiest habanero. What am I looking at? What is this? How did you get- These are symmetrical and beautiful and how'd you get this? You can deal with pyramids, because I can see all the sides at once. I'm making a big wide pyramid Pikachu. Yeah, like, I can work with this. This works. We are- Let's add ears too, since we're here. That won't be too hard to do, because we can just do more, uh, pyramids. The visuals for this program are like, they're cool looking, right? They're- they're visually quite- quite neat. I don't mind them. But, I mean, you could maybe have made it a few pixels bigger. Just a couple, and then it probably would have been a little more tolerable. All right, this is gonna look good once we texturize it. Don't you worry. Make him this nice bright yellow. Why'd I make a square before I use the paint bucket, I wonder? So that the paint bucket didn't get out in this border and flush out the whole screen, obviously. It's because I'm stupid. It's because this is a mind-bending process and it's very difficult. So that's him, swoop right in, nice. And it already fits perfectly. This, <laughs> this will absolutely look good. Get the front as well, it's gonna have to also be two parts. Why is that upside down, hmm? Extruding prism makes it upside down. Why does it do that? There's no way to, there's no way to rotate. What, what do you want me to do? Go back into my program, go back here and make this part upside down? Goodness gracious. Fine. How has no one answered this guy two years ago? No one's answered him. What? Where am I? How did I get here? I didn't make this. There we go. It's fine now. Everything's good. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Fantastic. In fact, dare I say. I might say it. I'm on the verge of saying it. Speaking of texture, at least... My face's texture has come back to some extent. I do clean shave for the role of a lifetime. I'm not a big fan of being clean shaven right now, but it was too big an offer to pass up. I got to play Shigeru Miyamoto. I got to play Sakurai in a uh, an, in, in a Nintendo Direct spoof uh, for my channel, but it was kind of a big deal. Nintendo flew me out and it was actually a pretty fun experience. Got to meet a lot of their employees, Hungrybox, Simple Flips, PewDiePie and Markiplier were there. It's pretty cool. Hey, this is done. This is actually kind of cute. Probably the cutest one so far. And that's the whole purpose of this program, I think. The whole purpose isn't for anything to look good. It's just for everything to look cute. Export GIF fast spin. He has two tails. Do I care? Do, do I care? Why would I care? It's gone. Oh my. Oh my goodness, thank you. This is so, there's like 50 processes to doing everything here. It is really hard for me to remember remember how to do everything because it's like these are things I've learned for the first time and I'm taking a, a hour-long break in between doing each of these saving processes and exporting and whatnot because these models take so long to figure out how to texture correctly it spins on a bit of a weird axis but do I care do I care me personally <laughs> there he is <sighs> imagine doing this imagine that just think about it I'll give you like 10 seconds all right, you get like five, we're moving on. Something simple, fellas. Simple, simple, simple things, please. Okay, I know I was saying simple things, but like, I wanna try something with this. I just wanna do his head. Like as high resolution as I can do it and see if it actually looks good at all. So we're gonna add one shape. How did I screw up a cube already? I could probably do 60. I think we can get away with 60. That still looks like him, that's the thing. 
Yeah, we can we can get away with this 100%. This is some high quality PicoCAD stuff. Could I have made the square actually the size of his face instead of having to stretch it? Absolutely. Next question. My hope is that people can use these GIFs all throughout Twitter for the rest of time, because I could see this coming in handy in a lot of conversations, especially more uh, emotionally driven ones. And you know what? You know what? For this one, I'm going, I'm going to be a little extra here. I'm going a little further. And boom. It's supposed to say is. Like this video, this one here that I just made, I could upload that as my video for the channel for the week. Seeing as I did work so hard on this, I am both liking it and retweeting it. All right, we are doing one more. All right, we're done. I actually do kind of want to make this because like it's simple and I can make a good texture for it. What is his name again? Chris from Fairly Odd Parents. TV's gonna be so mad I got his name wrong. Holy. And with this one, we're gonna go with a bunch of squares as well because it would seem I can only work with squares. I suck as everything else. I say as everyone else, as if it's a Smash Bros character. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but it absolutely will. Once you kind of get the controls down for this, it is super, like, it's a very cool program. All right, texture. We don't have to worry about any weird little turtle lumps having their parts upside down and stuff. It should all just be make Timmy. I don't know why, but low poly, like, classic cartoon characters seems is just a weirdly nostalgic thing no matter what you do because the era that they came out was like when video games were still fairly low poly like like the the Simpsons game on the on the Game Boy Advanced that's that's kind of an example of what I'm talking about it was 3D but it was extremely pixelized i have some nostalgia for that game and i don't even like the Simpsons and that's because i haven't watched it the body will have to do pink as well we're just going to do half pink and half uh, black It'll look like it would have looked on the Game Boy Advance. That's what we're going for here. This is Game Boy Advance Timmy. I'm actually extremely anxious to see what people think of my Chris Pratt cube. This is what Mario would look like running on Game Boy Advanced. What did I just say? Texture Timmy time! I liked what I just said there. That, fe that sounded nice, it felt nice. Will it look at all good? Oh, it's gonna look good. Oh, no way it looks good. It actually looks kind of good. I love this. I actually really like this. I feel like if you, you linger on the back of his head a little bit, it's funnier. Because I want Mark to kind of linger on the back of the head and how bad it looks and, and be like, I got ripped off. Or however he talks. I done got ripped off. I'm Ellis Merck. <laughs> what do I do? What is, what is the next step here? <sighs> okay. Very done now, let me stop. And that's it, and I didn't just mean this for him, I meant this for everyone, please stop, never ask me anything ever again. You know what happens after I do these? People spam into my Twitter, and they throw me all kinds of more requests. Now I don't see them personally, because I muted them, but then people realize that I don't see them because I muted it, and so they will just make a separate tweet and tweet at me, and then if I don't see that, they will email me. People have showed up at my door. Can't say they wanted me to make models for them, but that's probably where it's going next. So please, but Peter, what do I do if I want you to make me something? Just sit in front of your computer 24 seven for the next three years. And most likely you will catch a tweet where I ask for this again. Never leave your computer ever again. Peter says. <laughs>